Hello friends, I'm Kerry Wood, pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. And this week we're gonna be taking a break from our exploration of the book of Romans, Paul's letter to the church in Rome. Uh, my good friend Dale Oldham preached for me yesterday and he preached on the idea of the faithfulness of God. And so all this week we're going to select a different scripture each day and explore it as it relates to the faithfulness of God. Today comes from the very first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis. I'm reading verse eight, excuse me, chapter eight, verse 22. Hear now these words from the New International Version of Scripture. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. Now to put that verse in context, this is God's response to Noah after Noah has been faithful in building the ark, gathering the animals, surviving the flood, and he makes a sacrifice to God. And following the sacrifice, this is God's promise to Noah and to his descendants, which <laughs> obviously includes all of us. God says, as long as the earth endures, all of these things will continue to happen. And I think that means that God has a continuing, ongoing role in making sure these things happen. One of the common ideas is that if there is a God, then that God may have created everything and then God got bored, God went away and just left the universe off to do its own thing for as long as it does its own thing, which means humanity is just doing our own thing for as long as we exist. But if we take this verse seriously, we see that God is involved in the seed time and harvest, meaning the planting as well as the harvesting and obviously the growing in between, the cold and the heat and the beautiful temperatures that we're looking forward to this fall as it's neither hot nor cold, the summer and the winter and obviously spring and fall, day and night, which includes dawn and dusk. And I gotta tell you, the sunrises and the sunsets in North Carolina are absolutely spectacular. And these will never cease. This is the demonstration of God's faithfulness. You woke up this morning and you had a morning to wake up to. You will go to bed tonight and you will have a night to go to sleep to. And God will repeat this pattern for a week, a month, a year, a thousand years. Who knows? As long as the earth endures. And I think that means even for forever because when we get to the book of Revelation, it describes that God will make his home on earth. It will be a new earth, a earth that is experiencing the fullness of life and love without the compromise and debilitation of sin. And so God's faithfulness is for Wow, what a promise. May you experience the faithfulness of God today and come back and be faithful for our next daily devotion. Music